Hello friends. In this lecture, we are going to solve a trust member problem. So in this problem, you can see we have a trust member. Now in this trust member, we can see this is the shape of this trusses, and these are all the dimensions. So this is one meter, one meter, and all these dimensions are one meter. Similarly, the height is also one meter. These ends of the trusses are fixed. and on to these points the load is applied and we can see the value of loads is 30 kN similarly here and we can see the material is steel here the value of e and nu are given and the cross sectional area of this truss member is a rectangular truss so we have this type of rectangle and height and width are 6 cm and both are 6 cm So what I want you to do is try to solve this problem by yourself, and then if you find any problem, you can follow the solution of this problem in the next lecture. So in this lecture, we are going to solve this problem of truss member. So first of all, let's go to ANSYS, and then go to Engineering Data, right click, and then Edit. So let's say I insert the value for the material. This is steel. and then isotropic elastic the value we are taking for the young modulus is so this is mega pascal this is 13100 and then 0.29 so we have some value of young modulus and poisson's ratio i click close after that we need to make the geometry for the truss member so i go to geometry and we have to make a check on this line bodies because truss members are basically solved as 1d problem so i go to geometry right click and then go to design modeler so in this problem you can see the distance between all the truss member is 1 meter it means the length is 1 meter so i go to design modeler and here what i do i will go to the sketching go to settings In the settings, I will go to grid, make a check on this show 2D, and also make a check on snapping. In the major grid spacing, so the spacing I want one meter gap. Okay, now let's like X Y plane from here, and then zoom in. So zoom in. So from this point up to this point, the gap is one meter. So this is called the gridding. so we can see a much larger view of the grid display when i make a check on this snapping it will help us in selecting these end points so i go to sketching go to draw go to line so i need to draw line so you can see the snapping point to this point similarly this point to this point so i need to draw four lines like this and then press escape after that from this point i will draw one more line so like this so from this point up to this point similarly from this point to this point and like this now from this point i want a diagonal line similarly from this point i want a diagonal line now i will select this line and then select this line from this line to this line so here we can see we have created a preview of the truss member so if i go to dimension and make a check for any length of the dimension you can see it is 1 meter so it is fine and that is the advantage of using this snapping option after that we need to create a cross sectional area for this so before that i will go to create Okay I will have to go to concept and then select line from sketches go to xy sketch 1 and click apply click on generate so it will create a part body here now for this part body we need to create a cross sectional area so go to concept cross section and then select rectangular this is 0.06 and this is 0.06 click on generate after that 
go to the line body and in the cross sectional click on this arrow and then click on rectangle 1 and then click on generate so in this way we have assigned this cross sectional area to the truss member now i can go to this view cross sectional solid and here we can have a preview of 3d truss member so i go to the sketching go to settings grid make a uncheck on this show in 2d so it will hide all the grid display so now we can see we have a preview of the truss member but for this truss member we can see a vertical line is missing so go to sketching go to draw and then once again go to this uncheck on this cross section solid we need to draw a line from this point up to this point and then go to modeling and we need to generate everything click on generate cross section solid now we can see we have this line so after that we need to apply the load and boundary condition so we will do this in the next lecture i will go to file and close design modeler go to file and then save as i will save this file as a truss member 1 in the truss project folder in this lecture we will continue solving the truss problem so till now in our problem we had created the geometry so i go to ansys after that geometry i go to model right click and then go to edit now we have to apply the load and boundary condition to this so if you go to this thin shell so now i go to geometry line body and make sure the proper material is applied steel after that i go to the static structure right click and then go to okay before that hide these and this one so i will go to this fixed support i will have to create a fixed support onto this edge so make sure the vertex tab is selected and then this vertex click apply okay we can see only one vertex is selected so once again go to vertex hold down the control key and select both vertex click apply and after that i will go to the static structure right click and then go to force we know the force is applied in the negative y direction so in the component i will select component so that is negative 30000 newton and then select the vertex select this first vertex and click apply now what i can do i can once again go to static structure right click and then go to this force or what i can do is i can select this force right click and click on copy click on the static structure right click and then click on paste now we can see force 2 and once again force 3 i go to force 2 you can see the value of force is selected here i will have to change the vertex so select this vertex click apply for this force 3 select this vertex and click apply so you can see the forces are applied on the different vertexes i go to solution so before that we need to do the meshing go to mesh so generally in case of truss members we need to select a larger element size so right click and then generate mesh so you can see multiple elements are selected here but in case of truss member we want a mesh size that is larger than the length so make and check on this i will go to mesh in the size let's say i take the size 2 which is larger than the length so go to mesh right click and generate now you can see only a single part is meshed with a single meshing so i go to solution right click and then go to deformation and also i want the beam tool so solution right click and solve after that i can go to this deformation so you can see how it is going to bend so if i click on this animation you can see the bending in case of truss members now 
I can go to this beam tool and you can calculate the maximum stresses. You can see this value of stress is generated maximum value and the unit of this is in Pascal. So you can check the values. So in this way you can perform the trust analysis.